And you will be leaving the Senate now after nine years, but you've been in politics for, you know, the front room and the back room politics for, for basically 30 years. Mm -hmm. uh, what does it mean for you to not only be leaving the Senate, but to be leaving politics uh, behind for, for, compl I mean, for a completely different life? Mm -hmm. Uh, it actually, it, it's actually very refreshing to know that you get to do something different for the next, you know, seven to ten years of your life. Um, you need to understand, I think, everybody in any profession that they're involved in any work that they do, that there's, there's a time to come and there's a time to go. There's a time when you can make a contribution in a particular field. And then there's a time when it's, it really is time to make room for other people and to go and try to make a contribution elsewhere. And uh, so you, the first thing you do is say to yourself, how lucky I am to have had this chance to go and do something different. Uh, rather than work with leaders, I get to work building leaders uh, at Massey College with some of the brightest and most compelling bright young people in the country and in the world. And, and secondly, um, you get to go back to something that I did when I taught at the Graduate School of Policy Studies at Queen's, which is to work with really dynamic young minds who are not jaded who are not um, burnt out, who are not uh, unduly self-reverent, who are really interested in finding solutions to problems, who are interested in asking new questions, and to help facilitate that process in the way that Massey College has been doing now for half a century.